was like one of the best experiences I've ever had really. Um, I think we were both really privileged to be picked and it was just a great experience all around. Like the support at home, I really genuinely didn't realise until I got back and like my dad was saying that um, like the local pub had the cricket on and they were all watching and like there was football on and everyone was like no get it off like I want to watch want to watch the cricket like that was crazy like to come back to and, and hear about the final like I was actually probably less nervous like I was more just, just absolutely buzzing <laughs> to be there like the warm up was just so cool just like trying to take the moment in look around and yeah um, I mean at that stage like obviously you want to win but to come back and say that you're in a World Cup final is quite special anyway. Guys, welcome back to Trent Ridge. You've obviously been away recently playing in the World Cup, so this is more of a question for both of you. So how was it, the experience playing for England away in the World Cup? Um, I'll start. I think it was like one of the best experiences I've ever had, really. Um, I think we were both really privileged to be picked and it was just a great experience all around. Yeah, no, I do agree. It was probably the best experience I've had ever really <laughs> so yeah obviously that was obviously quite a big step for both you can imagine the uh, pressure was quite big so Maddie how did you feel particularly going into that game knowing that there hadn't been a tournament really like that for the women's under 19s before I think obviously playing for England it comes with a bit of pressure anyway like putting the putting the shirt on wearing the three lions um, obviously that comes with pressure but I think because it's the first of its kind kind of took it as it came um, really just tried to live every moment and just enjoy it really. Josie, tell me a bit about the process leading up to being picked. So how was that as well, finding out that you were going to be playing for England? Um, yeah, I mean, it was a bit um, like just sort of playing games, scouts there, like you know the scouts are there, you know sort of that you're being watched and everything, but just sort of playing. And then we obviously did school games, which was always, always good fun um, over at Loughborough, but then from that just getting a phone call I think that was a bit crazy from um, Richard Bedbrook he um, I didn't have his have his number in my phone so just a random number came up I was like oh gosh but um, no it was it was quite a surreal phone call I don't don't remember what I said I don't think I said too much I was a bit stunned but that was a crazy sort of start. Obviously after initially getting picked what was it like then going into the squad and having to train and leading up to the World Cup? Um, I think like meeting all the girls for the first time, obviously we knew of each other, mm -hmm. but we didn't really know each other very well. So I think being in that environment was, it was a bit daunting, a bit scary because there was a few big names they thought, oh, they played in the 100, they probably don't know who I am. <laughs> um, but yeah, the girls were lovely. It was really quite great being in such a like relaxed, everyone got along, the environment was just great really. So Josie, leading from that, what was it like um, facing Australia in the semi-final and were you aware obviously of this massive support that you had back at home? Um, yeah, um, I mean England, Australia always, <laughs> always a big sort of big game that people want to people wanna watch but I think um, obviously like there's nerves around that and it being a semi-final as well and like they're going to be a tough team no matter when you face them so in a semi of a World Cup what we've not really done before was very daunting but again just like backing ourselves and everything um, but no like the support at home I really genuinely didn't realise until I got back and like my dad was saying that um, like the local pub had the cricket on and they were all watching and like there was football on and everyone was like no get it off like I want to watch want to watch the cricket like that was crazy like to come back to and, and hear about. And leading on from that obviously going then into the final how was that experience for you was there nerves around it or were you more excited and how were the girls as a general squad leading into that? Yeah I guess um, the final like I was actually probably less nervous like I was more just, just absolutely buzzing <laughs> to be there like the warm-up was just so cool just like trying to take the moment in look around and yeah um, I mean at that stage like obviously you want to win but to come back and say that you were in a World Cup final was quite special anyway. Um, but yeah, that was cool. <laughs> and so yeah, leading on from that, so Maddie, you guys obviously came back after being there, having that exposure. How was that coming then back, back to the Blaze and back to England? I think 
because you haven't really seen a lot of, especially with Blaze, I haven't really seen a lot of the girls for a while because of England camps and England training. So coming back, I was a bit ooh, a bit nervous. Obviously, I'd played with these girls for ages, but I was like, oh, I ain't seen them for a while. But everyone was buzzing for me. Everyone was asking me loads of questions. <laughs> like they were more excited. It's like they were more excited than I was to be back. But um, yeah, the support from home and everything being back. I mean, apart from the weather, um, <laughs> <laughs> I think. You know, I think um, yeah, it's good to be back, but I'd rather be rather be out there again doing it all again I think and so Maddie you've been based in Knott's for most of your youth career at playing cricket so what how do you feel moving forward particularly with the Blaze looking forward to the summer season this year uh, I was really buzzing when I found out that um, Blaze was coming here like when we moved from Loughborough I was like oh sick <laughs> been, been here all the time I'm quite comfortable training here and things like that um, but yeah I'm really excited looking forward to the looking forward to the season Hopefully it's going to be a good one. Hoping maybe I'll make my way into the first team at some point. <laughs> I don't know. Saying, like, are particularly, are you chasing anything in particular going into this one? Any kind of sights, your goals you set for yourself? I think maybe making my first senior appearance. And then I know quite a lot of us from the 19s have signed up for the 100 draft. So hope some of us are hoping to be involved in that in some way, maybe. <laughs> and you as well, Josie. So congratulations. You've obviously signed your first professional contract. What are you looking forward to specifically with the Blaze going into this summer? Yeah, I guess um, hopefully it's going to be a really exciting year. Um, big names <laughs> signed. So um, I think just even being around that environment and getting a chance to play with players like that, it's just going to learn so much and be quite a quite a cool year hopefully um win some more games and leading on from that is there anyone you're particularly looking forward to playing with or alongside in terms of having mentors or people that you aspire to be like in the game yeah i guess with glennie coming over being a fellow leg spinner and she's been brilliant in the world cup like she's been outstanding so like just trying to learn learn from her and learn how to cope with certain situations and then obviously seen um, Nat Brunt been <laughs> amazing like she is just class so like just get some advice from her just how to go about things it'd be really cool and same with you Maddie have you had anyone in particular that you're really looking forward to being alongside for the summer I think just the exposure to all the first team really for me would be a massive massive thing um obviously the three international signings obviously there's Tammy as well in there with Glennie and uh, Nat but yeah just being in that environment in general is just really exciting for me, I think.